Hey babies, so today is Saturday, it's game day, and right now I'm about to go get my toes done. Well, I'm gonna at least try. So the game is this evening at six, but my my sister is trying to go out to the tailgate at like three, right? And it's already one o'clock. So that means I don't really have time to be getting my toes done right now because it's two hours until they want me to be at the tailgate. But I'm gonna do it anyway because I just been wanting to get my toes done for a hot minute and I just haven't been able to like make time to do that or like really make time for myself lately because I've been so busy. So the girl is just gonna have to be mad, you know, if I be if I be a little late. As long as I make it to the game at six, I feel like I'm fine. So yeah, that's the agenda for today. Um, get our toes done, get dressed, which I mean like, I shouldn't be that late to the tailgate because like I've already showered. I already look cute. I really could wear this to the tailgate even if it's not even though it's not what I plan to wear, but like if push come to shove, I'll just wear this because I already look cute. But I did plan to wear something else, but you know. And also y'all, I have not eaten. <laughs> I literally brought this pop chart with me because this is gonna be what I'm gonna eat. And then I have like a cake pop in my purse. So yeah, don't be like me. That's horrible. I know I'm gonna be in there hungry. But you know, girl gotta do what girl gotta do. I really slept all day today. I didn't get up until 12 o'clock. And I only got up for real because somebody's knocking on my door. So that's the real reason why I didn't eat. And then I just wanted to like prioritize get my toes done. Okay, let's see if I can put y'all y'all. I bought this freaking car mount just for it to barely work like the thing literally be y'all see like it be falling and we could do that but that's so crooked i don't know all right no living this party nobody to love. that song's so in my head like, see, it don't do right. It's like my phone. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I bought this shit from TJ Maxx. And I should have left it up there. Where was it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm... Whatever. Okay. We got to open these pops right up because I'm home. But how is y'all's day going? How are y'all doing? Um, if you're listening to this right now, make an effort to comment on this video. Because I feel like I don't be getting enough comments. Like, I really be wanting people to comment on my videos. So, I have something to interact with. Like, I be wanting feedback. I be wanting, you know, like, a feel for how y'all feel about my videos. And if I'm doing the right thing. And, like, what do y'all like and what do y'all not like. But y'all don't be giving a girl nothing. Hold on, y'all. I'm struggling to get out this parking spot. Let me let these people go. Well, I think they want to get my spot. I feel like they judging me because it's taking me so long to get about the spot. But, like, don't judge me. I be so sick of niggas, y'all come to me. I be so bold myself, yeah, you come here. I feel so ordinary, still make you one round me. Treat me like all the way, man, me out. All you miss is to air me out. Shit about to worry about. I can't keep no perfect, but you working, we just rub it out. I don't want no static, but so you know you my thug, and I can't shake this habit, no. I've been up, baby. I've been reminiscing. And they are the missing. Okay, y'all, my toes came out real cute, per. But yeah, so we're done. Um, let me see what time it is. Okay, so it's two thirty. It really didn't take long in there, for real. Um, they started doing my toes as soon as I walked in, so it really didn't take too long. But now I'm gonna head back to my room so that we can. I need to get something to eat. I need to eat something and then head back to the room and we can get dressed for the game. So yeah. 
You gotta say first. So, shirt from <laughs> we got Walmart. Uh, <laughs> that's from Five Below. Oh. Okay, from Target. Okay. You still wore it? Yeah. Okay, watch for Michael Pores. Bracelet Tiffany, ring shin, chain shin, shoes Nike. Yeah. yeah. Girl, you got your stuff together. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nike. Greek store. My mama. Her. My mama. Period. Oh, period. Shirt. I mean, dress. <laughs> uh huh. Glasses from Urban Outfitters. Some store in Cosmo. Five and Below. Cosmo. Cosmo. Oh, she had the country. She wear a what? Monday morning, I just got done getting dressed. This is what I threw on, y'all. Nothing crazy, real basic, black leggings, graphic tee, and this little Steve Madden purse. I'm low-key trifling for how ranky this shirt is, but that's that's nobody's business, okay? But yes, yeah, so I just threw some clothes on. We're about to go to the cafeteria and get some breakfast, and then we're going thrifting. <laughs> um, started my morning with thrifting this morning because it's Monday, and one of my favorite thrift stores has $1 Monday, so I really want to go, and since I'm out, I might as well go to Goodwill as well and just run any other errands that I have time to run. I don't just have, like, a lot, a lot of time because I do have a desk shift at 11, but we're going to make the best of the time that we do have. And I'm just really excited to thrift today. And I really want to get to the thrift store early. So I can get all the good finds. Because I know everybody goes to this particular thrift store on Monday. Because they have the dollar Monday. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. And when we get back, I'm going to get my backpack. Go to my desk shift. Get back in school mode. I have an exam today. So when I'm at the desk, I'll be doing some. I'll be studying for my exam and doing some homework. After that, I'll go to lunch. After lunch, I have my exam at 2.30. After my exam at 2.30, I have a break, so I don't really have anything to do until 5 o'clock where I have my staff meeting, and then I actually have another meeting today. Usually on Mondays, my staff meeting is from 5 o'clock to 6.30, so usually I'm done with, like, after that, but I have another meeting today at 7 for something I don't really want to speak on yet. So, yeah, that's what we're doing, and I'm going to just see y'all when we get in the car. So, y'all know how I said I was going to get breakfast from the cafeteria, right? Well, see, I really was going to get breakfast in the cafeteria. But then I remember that Mondays be the days where they breakfast don't really be hitting. It be Tuesdays and Thursdays that they breakfast be hitting. So, I was like, mine is well, you know. This sun is hitting, but it's kind of hitting too much yet. So, first of all, they didn't even give me my granola. This is why you got to check your bag. Okay, so apparently... This is the Chick-fil-A on campus. So they don't be having everything that regular Chick-fil-A have. They have like a limited menu. And so I look on there and they say they got um, fruit parfaits with granola. But they didn't give me no freaking granola. Bro, this probably got chicken bag. But I did get chicken minis. Okay, they got that right. So I got chicken minis, parfait, yogurt, thingy. And then I just got an orange juice. So that's our breakfast. And to be honest with y'all, we really don't have that much time to go to the thrift store because I really only have like an hour before I'm supposed to be at the desk. So, I mean, there's definitely been times where it's been like an hour before I have to go to the desk and I know I don't have time to go do something, but I still go do it anyway and I just get there at the last minute. But it's just like, do I want to do that today or do I want to be a better person and be responsible and just go thrifting later? You know, because I do have time on my schedule to go thrifting later, but it's just that I really don't want nobody to get like the good stuff before me you know so i don't know i probably should just be responsible though honestly and just go later maybe we'll just go after my 2 30 class i would say we can go right the right after the day shift but after the day shift i'm probably gonna want to eat lunch and study for my 
exam that's at 2 30 so maybe we should go after the exam and that can be like a reward to myself for doing well on the exam so okay y'all i had turned the air off because you know i didn't want it to be too loud for y'all but the bitch is gonna die okay and you know it's only, it's only so much i can say i'm gonna go outside after i eat this last chicken mini and then we're gonna journal and maybe like we should meditate i think i'm gonna journal and meditate and like listen to like some affirmation sounds and say affirmations bestie Hey, oh, I can't talk. <coughs> okay. Hey, besties. So it's been a little minute, but I'm back. I did go and take my test. Well, first I had my desk shift. Um, I think I inserted some clips from my desk shift of me like studying, doing work, and watching YouTube. And then after that, I went to my room for a little bit, studied some more. Then I went and took my test. I think I did pretty good on it. We're gonna cross our fingers, but I think I did pretty good. And now we are finally about to go thrifting. I'm excited. Um like i told you guys one of my fave thrift stores um they have one dollar monday so we're gonna go to that and then we're gonna go to goodwill and there's one more thrift store here but i don't know if i want to go all the way over there that one is kind of it's kind of far um goodwill and the other one are close to each other and I, I need to go to walgreens as well oh also y'all my um staff meeting got canceled period thank god because i didn't want to go to it anyway it was supposed to be at five o'clock and that gives me more time to kind of do what i want to do anyway so chef's kiss look at god when you do it The, this one, yes, I really like it. I found a lot of good things today. I guess I'm, I guess I'm just, my, it's just my lucky day. <laughs> Do y'all have like a certain day that y'all put new things out, or is it like random? Oh, I, I just put them out whenever the hangers are full. Okay, so it's like every, almost every day. Oh, I put out new clothes every single day. Okay. And I couldn't really keep talking the small, so you might like it. I'm good now. Okay. Thank you. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you never gotta say shit. And I know your taste is a little bit. How much are you doing the uh, crop charms for? Uh, the girls had told me that the I've been doing 49 cents. I knew they had come up with some, but I didn't know what they were. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm back. So it's 11.30 and I have not eaten anything today. All I've done is went to my day shift from 8, 9 to 11 and I did get one and a half assignments done while I was there, which is good for me because I'm a procrastinator and it takes me a long time to do my assignments. So anyways, I did get one and a half assignments done and my sweet line sister Courtney let me park my car at her house so that I can come to like one of my favorite spots across campus because I didn't want to walk all the way from my dorm to this spot because like it's far but her house is close to it so she'll be park over there and now i'm walking up here i'm gonna order some food and i'm going to sit and do my work until my class at 2 30 so um let's see 11 30 to 11 yeah so i have about three hours to just focus on schoolwork and um yeah and then i have class so yeah that's what we got going
did eat. I showed you guys me eating and I did get some work done too. But as I was getting my work done, like I like um uh mm, I'ma say like about two hours in, I started getting intrusive thoughts. And my brain started thinking about how bad I've been wanting to change my septum. You can't see my septum right now because I have it in my nose. But my brain started thinking about how much I've been wanting to change my septum. And then I started looking up septum, like places that sell septum jewelry. And then I called the place that did my septum and started asking them questions about like the size and of my jewelry and stuff like that I should get. And now I'm at the mall about to buy new jewelry for my septum. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? No. But you know, sometimes you have to treat yourself. You know, self-care, self-love. I, I, I get distracted easily and I feel like I deserve a little reward because I've been doing work for like three hours. So yeah, that's what we're about to go do. We're gonna go in Spencer's and find new septum jewelry because I like this, but I just, well, I've, ever since I got this, I felt like this was too long or too big for my liking. Um, Ever since I first got my septum done, I wanted something smaller and a little more like discreet and kind of just poking out my nose just a little bit. But um, the place I went to, they didn't really give me an option as far as like what size jewelry they just they just was like this is what you gonna get so you know i just been rocking with craig because he's been rocking with me but now i'm ready to get something smaller daintier just something that doesn't sit so close to my lip something that kind of stops like right there or something like that so let's go look I'm turn this car off grab my wallet and that should be all i need I don't know why I just called myself them Craig just then. I never named myself them Pearson, but Craig just slipped out my mouth. So I, I guess, I guess my them's name is Craig. But that's so ugly. Wait, is this even Spencer's or is this Hot Topic? Do we even have a Spencer's in here or did I make that up? A bit of a higher grade. Um, mm -hmm. 15 is just so okay. Yeah, that one. How much is it? 16 million. Okay. Is that all for you? Yeah, and I already had a septum that she put, I think she put like behind the counter or something. Your phone in. It's just a free little card that we give out, and for every six pieces you buy, you're thank you. Have a good one. Okay, guys, we got our goodies. Let me show y'all what I picked out. So, I got I did get a belly ring as well. I know that's not what I went in there for, but it was too many cute belly rings in there for me not to get one, and I've been a little bored of my belly rings anyway. So and then for my septum i got this like i mentioned earlier i just really want something that's more discreet and more dainty and just kind of like you know just dainty and pretty and so i feel like this is definitely it definitely gives that like it's really small i think it's going to be really snug on my nose so it's not going to like show a lot and then but it also has like the little you know rhinestones or whatever to kind of give it that like a little glam you know like a subtle glam so i'm back from class i'm in my bathroom i'm about to get ready to change my septum i'm so scared i don't know why like bro sept, bro i don't even know how y'all are freaking septum pierced because like getting my septum pierced is something i really had to talk myself into because i just feel like it's such a weird piercing and it's literally inside my freaking nose i'm like kind of freaking out because i'm like what if i can't find the hole to put the new piercing in and then i'm just gonna be stuck but nah if i can't find a hole then i think i have a friend that can help me but yeah so let's do this we're gonna do the belly ring first because that's easy like i change my belly ring all the time so we're gonna do that first i'm gonna wash my hands so 
so for my belly ring i've had my belly ring for years <laughs> i've literally had my belly ring since like 2018 or 2019 and it's 2022 now so for my belly ring i'm not like super careful with it i definitely don't like wash my hands every time i touch it i touch it all the time and it's fine because it's it's completely healed and i take baths so you know but just for video purposes and just for since i'm like gonna be going inside my nose um i just want to make sure i go inside my nose with clean hands because i've had my septum for i think like right at a year i need to go in my photo gallery and see find the selfies from the exact day i got my septum so i can know like exactly how long i had it but i'm pretty sure i got my septum in september or october and it's september now so but yeah so here's another look at the belly belly um jewelry that i bought and this is it says it's a 14 is it gauge or gauge i think it's gay it's a 14 gauge i'm gonna be honest with y'all i don't know what kind of um like what size piercing jewelry what okay i can't talk i don't know what size jewelry was used when i initially got my belly button pierced because it was very bootleg and i got my belly button pierced by a teenager so i don't know what size jewelry she used and i never knew i always just bought like whatever i thought was cute like i've never known like what size uh jewelry to get for my belly person like i'm always just going to clear and just got whatever so yeah i just had on like the regular one and i just unscrewed the ball while i was talking to y'all that's that's the little ball that was on in boop check it out now i'm just screwing back got this one i'm gonna just unscrew the top and then take it out boom suck it out and then whoop. you can't even see what i'm doing because my big fingers came out like that boom i did it omg no that's really cute all right now it's time for the hard part so um i'm so nervous I, i'm gonna wash my hands again like i'm literally so nervous and scared i don't know why like i'm just really scared i'm not gonna know what i'm doing or i'm gonna mess something up or it's gonna like bleed or get infected or something like bro if that happens i'm gonna cry i don't know if i have to do this but like i told y'all i'm scared so i'm gonna clean my septum first before i start digging in there and putting stuff just to make sure there's no like crusties or boogers in there i don't want to be like you know i don't know i just want to make sure everything is clean everything's good around there no crusties no boogers and i, I just sprayed my wound wash on this q-tip and that's how i clean my piercings by the way i just spray wound wash on a q-tip and then i just kind of rub around in there and that's how i clean it i just like rub around the hole in like the piercing area and i like wipe the actual jewelry itself too i don't know if my symptom is completely healed or not i think it is because it doesn't really have like when i first started cleaning it so when i first got my symptom it bled um it bled for like a couple days not like just continuously bleeding but it kind of did like a little like bleeding and then when I would clean it, it would always have like crusties and boogers and stuff and like little weird stuff on it. But now when I clean it, don't nothing be on it. Like nothing really be on it for real. Every now and then it'll be like a little crusty or something, but not really be on it. So I think that it's, um, I think it's healed. So here is the jewelry I'm about to put in it. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And just have it ready because as soon as I take this one out, I want to have this one ready to put in. Okay. And this one, this is like the round one. So it's like a clicker. It's really small. So I don't know if I'm, if y'all can see, but it basically just opens up. Opens up like that. And then to close it, you just click it in there. Boom. When I put it in, I'll be putting it in this way. Now, I have to unscrew these balls, which I've never done before. I 
Okay. <laughs> I was struggling for a minute. I had to put paper towel around my finger and then do it. And it's like a little ball. So I think that's why I had a hard time doing it because I didn't know the screw was going to be on the ball. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's really tiny, but now we have the ball off. So now I can just slip that out. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm trying to look and see if I can see the hole. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so I'm going to just slip this out and then I'm going to try to put this in. Not going to lie to y'all, this one is much smaller than this one. Um, When I called the piercing place, they said that they usually do a 16. But the one I have, if this is, I know this is 16 because I just bought it. So if this is 16, this is giving me 18. But whatever. I hope like this doesn't be a disaster. Okay, I took it out. Okay, I think I got it in one side, but I don't know how to get it through the other side. 20 minutes later. I did it! I did it! Oh my god, okay. Not gonna lie, I didn't think I was, I could do it. I, I thought I was about to have to give up. Okay, I just have to get to click. I did it! Oh my goodness. Y'all, it's literally so small. I really like it. Oh my god, it's so small. Yes. Okay, let me get down. Alright, so I did it. Um, so this is how it looks. And I like it. I think who is everything? Shopping as we can pretend.